Hello, hello. I just stepped on my dog's toe on accident, if you heard her yelp. <laughs> this is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I'm so excited that you're here with me today. We are going to make two adorable cards. Well, we're going to make one and a half adorable cards, okay? But before we get started, I want to share with you my 30 days of creative inspiration. This is a free calendar that you get every month if you're subscribed to my email. So if you scroll to the very bottom of my description in on this YouTube video, you'll find a place that says get my emails. Click that, sign up for my emails, and every month magically this will appear in your um, inbox, in your email for you to print and use all month long. I email it out at the end of every month. So I'll be emailing it at the end of September. So you want to make sure you get signed up. And this is the free gift that I am sending out this month. When you place a $40 online order and you use this host code, which is also on the calendar, you will get these gorgeous adhesive back sequins and gems for free from me. Yes, you will. How awesome is that? So that's my free gift. There are a couple of really awesome promotions going on with Stampin' Up! right now. One of them is the Perfect Partners promotion. You can get these beautiful dies from Stampin' Up! if you already have the stamp sets. If you don't have the stamp sets, you can purchase the bundles and save 10%. And if you're a demonstrator, you get an additional discount on top of the 10%, right? You get your own. Stampin' Up! is also doing weekly deals. September 1st, well, we're past that. 8th, we're past that. 15th and 22nd. So right now, the deals that are available to you are until the 15th which is Thursday. Also, September 15th, Stampin' Up! is doing a 24-hour sale on select stamps from the annual catalog. I will have all that information on my website for you on Thursday, so don't fret. It'll be there. I'm also going to send out an email. That is the benefit of being on my email list, is you get all the information I get as soon as I get it and can get it to you. So make sure you sign up. Weekly deals have been great. If you're interested in anything on the weekly deals, you want to make sure that you pick those up before the 15th. Okay, we are going to do some stamping. Before we get into that, I want to show off some stuff I've received in the mail. The reason I'm showing this to you is because people took their time to make these beautiful things for me, and I'm always so thankful. So I just want to share really quick. This is from my team member, Sandra. You are wonderful in every way. And of course, she has a uh, little love note inside for me because her and I, she is just the best. I just love her. And she's got these gorgeous rhinestones on here. Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's from Miss Sandra. This one has is from Nell. And it has this beautiful paper on the back. And then look at how cool this fold is. I think we need to make this. What about you? She left me a beautiful note inside. And I'm like, you know what? I think I need to make this fun fold. So I'll be figuring this one out and making doing measurements for that because I love it. This one is from Carolyn Helmick, who is one of my team members. And she did this beautiful card for me. It looks like, I think this is a paper pumpkin card. So super sweet. This one is from Dina, and she has a very sweet note inside about how she's been using her Stampin' Up! and things like that. So she donates cards, and this card is stunning, of course, gorgeous. So this is using that Splendid Day goodies, I think is what it's called. Okay, and then this one is from Carolyn also. Beautiful. Bright wishes for a happy day. Sending a note of thanks. This is gorgeous. This is from Kathy Cornea. Sending a note to brighten my day. I love this card. This is one of my favorite stamp sets of all time. And I love how she used these little gold butterflies. Isn't that good? So smart. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you everybody who sends me something in my PO box. I'm so grateful for you that you do that. 
All right, let's get started now on our projects. Now, if you're here and I have not responded to you or said hello or any of those things to anyone specific, it's just because it's a really difficult for me to do my projects, remember everything I need to talk about, and look at the comments. So because of that, I am going to just go through and then at the end, you will um, have an opportunity to ask me questions or you can ask questions throughout the event. Come on, I have to let a dog in. Sorry guys. All right, she's scratching at the door. She was gonna drive me crazy. So at the end, I will answer questions, comments, say hello, chit chat. So make sure that you leave any comments, leave any questions like that that you need to throughout our time together. There is a free project sheet over on my blog um, teaching you how to make a swing easel card. And that's what we're making today. We're gonna make two different designs. Um, we're going to make a landscape and a portrait size, okay? So let's start with the one that we're just gonna put together, together, and then I'll show you the other one, all right? So here's how these work. They go up like this, and then they have this swinging element in the center, okay, that moves. So for this one, I kept it super simple, and I just used the designer series paper as the decoration. So I'm not worrying about adding any other die cut elements, and on the inside, it's got this strip of paper, which is what holds up the card, and or holds up the easel, and then this piece just moves freely. So that's what we're making. Let's get started. I'll show you the measurements. We've got a piece of four and a quarter by 11 Melon Mambo cardstock. We're gonna use my fabulous paper trimmer that has the nice long arm here. And we are going to do some scoring. So we're gonna score uh, the on the la landscape side, the long side, at two and a half, three, and you see that I'm going back and forth multiple times because I like my score lines to be really defined three and a half and five and a half, okay? Now you don't need to worry about writing this down because as I said, I have a free project sheet for you. So you don't have to write any of this down. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in, okay? Once you've done this, you need to cut out a frame at this is you're going to skip over some of the score lines in the middle. So we're gonna very carefully do this, okay? So you're gonna start by lining the end of your cardstock where you've just done all the scoring up at the one inch mark. You're going to score from one inch on your bar. So you can see I have a one inch here, all the way to three and a quarter inches, which is one inch from the end. We're gonna lift it up, we're gonna turn it, we're gonna line this side up with the one inch mark over here. Now you're seeing why this paper trimmer is so handy. Um, these paper trimmers are not very expensive. They've got a cutting blade a, and a scoring blade and I just love how they have the uh, measurements on the side too. So now we're gonna cut from one inch, okay, to two, the three inch score line, okay? So we're gonna go all the way through that first score line to the three inch. We're gonna lift up, move our blade to three and a half, and then we're gonna tootle on down and we're going to cut to four and a half. That is one inch from this middle score line. Now we're gonna repeat this, so don't fret, okay? Now we're turning, we're going to line this end up with the four and a half inch mark, because remember we're going one inch from this score line over here. We're gonna drop this down at the one inch and we're gonna cut all the way to three and a quarter inches, okay? Pick it up and now we're gonna go on the other side, line it up at one inch and we're gonna cut from one inch to three, then we're gonna lift it, 
move it to three and a half, cut again to four and a half, and we're done, okay? Now, what that has done is it's allowed our piece to stay in, in the card, but be cut away, okay? So now we're gonna do our folding. We're gonna fold in the center down, because that's our opening, our card opening. Grab your bone folder, okay? And then we're gonna go up this way, down this way, whoops, whoops, whoops. Down this way. So we need a, we're doing a, excuse me, I'm sorry, you guys. We're doing a peak, a valley, and a peak, okay? So it will look like this. It's kind of like a little mini accordion here. So peak, valley, peak, and that is our fold. Super simple. Now I'm gonna show it to you in two different ways, so just hang tight with me. Now we've got a piece of four by five and a quarter. We're gonna add, this is basic white thick cardstock. If you followed me for a while, you know I like using thick cardstock. This piece is cut at two by four. Because this is our little piece that it's going to pop up easel on. Then we've got our little center components. I cannot remember what this piece is cut at. Let's measure it. I didn't print this one. Two and an eighth by three and three eighths, I think. Measurements are on the project sheet. So again, like I said, don't, don't worry about if you're not getting this written down, don't worry about it. And then this piece is cut at two by, what is it? Two by three and a quarter, I think. Goes in the center, beautiful. Then we have a piece, I have a little glue here on my desk. We have a piece of basic white, again, cut at seven eighths of an inch by four inches. And we're going to use Melon Mambo ink. And I totally forgot to tell you, the stamp set we're using is Happiness Abounds, beautiful stamp set. And we're going to use this thank you sentiment which says, sending many thanks for all you do. I just like the size of it. Sometimes my sentiments are chosen based on if they will fit in an area nicely. <laughs> to be really honest with you, um, that's sometimes how I choose my sentiments. Okay, and then we're going to add dimensionals. And add it just like that away, and we're done. Look at that. So super cute and simple. You obviously could add more embellishments anywhere you want and make it just even that much cuter, um, whatever you wanted to do. But, you know, my primary focus is showing you the fold. So let's go to the other card I have. Ready? Look at this. This is using the Caroling Mice stamp set. Let me grab it for you. I set it away from me on accident. Where is it? I know it's sitting here right in front of my face and I'm not seeing it. There it is. Okay. This is the Caroling Mice stamp set. I feel like it's very overlooked. It is in the mini catalog. If you go to the very back, there's two items, hosting is rewarding. There's a caroling mice set and there's this gorgeous celebrate everything designer series paper. This is not one you can purchase. You can only get it for free with a host order. So if you place an order of $150 or more, you're gonna get 50, you're gonna get 10% in stamp and rewards, which is $15. You'll be able to add this to your stamp and rewards order and get this free. So that is what is fabulous about this set. Um, it's, it's completely free when you place a fairly large order. 
So if you don't wanna place an order that big, maybe you have a couple of friends you wanna place orders with, then you could all place an order together or you can contact me, I can set up a party, whatever you wanna do. But this set is just to die for, so cute. So this is the card I made. And yes, I spent a lot of time coloring it. And then it sits up like this. And here is the inside. So I used Tahitian Tide, which for the little um, snow. And then this, you might notice, the gorgeous snowflake embossing. I'm trying to get it in the light just right for you. So I took a two inch strip and I did snowflake embossing on it. So when it's open, you've got this gorgeous uh, white piece that is embossed with snowflakes. So here's what's gonna blow your mind. This is what's gonna blow your mind. This piece of cardstock to make this card is cut at five and a half by 11. And then all the rest of the measurements are the same. Exactly what I showed you. So I learned how to make this card first, okay? And then I thought, hmm, I wonder if I did exactly the same thing, but in, in portrait, if it would work. And it does. So this is cut identical and scored identical to the one I just showed you, okay? Same exact measurements. You're going to cut your card base at 11 by five and a half. You're gonna score at two and a half, three, and three and a half. And then you're gonna do your one inch frame. And then obviously the measurements for the center are different because it's bigger. So here is that. So all of this is free over on my blog. When you click the link in the description below the video that says measurements and supplies, you can go get all of this stuff for free, okay? So I should say, get the, the project sheets for free. You're not gonna get cards for free. <laughs> so that is it. That is how simple this process is. I mean, it's really not a super complicated card. It looks really complicated. The cutting in the center is a little little bit complicated, but not horrible. I feel like it's totally doable for everybody. All right, let's see what messages we have. Um, I'm going to scroll through here. Hello, everybody. We've got folks from Wyoming and Kansas. Hello, hello. Washington State, San Diego. Hello, everyone. Hello, Sheridan, Oregon. You guys are loving the cards I received that I shared at the beginning. I don't really see any questions. So if you guys have any questions for me, you know you can always drop them in the comments. I try really hard to go back and look at my comments after my YouTube lives um, because I know that there's a lot of times somebody watches the replay and then there's fun questions that need to be answered. So. I hope you loved today's cards. I always appreciate it when you give me a thumbs up on my videos and subscribe to my channel. That's really important to me. And the ultimate way to thank me that is always I appreciate so much is when you place an online order with me through Stampin' Up. You can shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. There are links below the video. Um, I do have that free gift when you place a $40 online order or more. I have had a few people reach out at uh, different times asking how they could thank me for doing project, these free project sheets and different things like that. And I always say placing an order is the ultimate thank you. But if you can't do that, subscribing, purchasing one of my PDF tutorials. I have lots of tutorials. I have handmade card packets in my online store. You can purchase those. Um, so if you go to my website at loveandstampin.com, there's retired product there, there's handmade cards there, there's PDFs, there's online classes. All of those things are available to you when you purchase at my website or you can place a Stampin' Up! order as well. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little while today. I always appreciate it when you stop by and chit chat with me. And I will be back Saturday with a fun video for you. And um, I've got something in the works, guys, that I think you're going to be pretty excited about. So I'm working on that now. And 
I'll be letting you know about that pretty soon as well. Don't forget this week on September 15th, Stampin' Up! is doing the stamp sale for 15% off select stamp sets in the annual catalog. So really good deals there and those will be posted on my blog and through email. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.